I am one of Cece's sisters, the middle child of the 10 Navarra siblings. I was asked to speak on behalf of her five sisters and four brothers. I turned to my siblings for input when I was asked, and the word that kept coming back to me from them was example. Our big sister, Cece, set an example for us. She was our leader, the leader of the pack. Oh, sure, once in a while when we were kids, she might show us an example of what not to do, but still she was leading. And most of the time, she was busy setting a good example. Sometimes as a kid, I even remember feeling like she was an act that was hard to follow. I would come into a classroom and they'd see another little dark-haired Navara girl and expect me to be as smart as Cece was, or as hardworking as Cece was, or as well-behaved as Cece was, or as musical as Cece was. It was a hard act to follow sometimes. She was the firstborn child of Philip and Rita Navara. They named her Cecilia after the patron saint of music, and they hoped that their love of music would live on in her. And it certainly did. You know that she became an accomplished musician, a pianist, and a vocalist. She had plenty of talent and intelligence, but she also worked very hard for what she accomplished. She became the first person in our family to earn a college degree, a Bachelor of Arts in Music Education and Music Therapy from Ball State. She was so talented, she could have pursued a career on the stage but she humbly shared her gifts. She sang praises to God, sang lullabies to children, and taught students. We are really gonna miss her. Playing the piano and leading us in song at our family gatherings. Cece also followed our parents' example in her devotion to family. She married Tim McNeil in August of 1975. That's 46 years of faithful love. Cece loved her husband, and he loved her. Please remember Tim in the days ahead. I can tell you from experience that it's not easy to go on after you lose the love of your life. But with God's grace and the help of family and friends, it is possible so family and friends, please let's help Tim get through with this. Cece and Tim accepted their children as the gracious gifts of God that they were. Just look at the legacy of love that lives on in this room. Nine wonderful grown children. Think of how she loved them so well, doing her best to raise them right, homeschooling them and taking care of them and feeding and clothing and teaching and praying for them. She loved her children's spouses as her very own, too. And oh, how she loved her 19 going on 20 grandchildren. Look at the legacy of love that lives on in them. Keep that love alive, McNeil families, and pass it on. Follow her example. Yesterday, we heard Proverbs 31 and we found that it was a good description of Cece. She worked hard for the good of others. She spoke with grace and kindness. She was hospitable. She loved to bake and share her baked goods. She was prayerful. She feared the Lord. Our sister was a beautiful woman inside and out. She always dressed with dignity and modesty and class. She was always appropriate for the, for the occasion. Best of all, she always wore that joyful, friendly smile. That smile, that joy, was a choice. She had plenty of trials and tribulations, as we all do. She could have complained, but she chose to look for the good and to give thanks. That's another good example we could all follow. I hope I have adequately praised my dear sister for her good attributes and her good works. It is appropriate, for as we read yesterday in Proverbs, her children will arise and call her blessed, and her husband praises her, and let her works praise her in the gates. 
but Cece would be appalled if I didn't give the most praise to her Savior, Jesus Christ. Cece earned praise and reward for her good works, but she didn't earn her salvation or her eternal life in heaven. It wasn't her sacrifices that got her to heaven. It was the sacrifice that Jesus made. Jesus alone saved her. As good as Cece was, she wasn't perfect. She, like all of us, had sin. Sin is what separates us from a holy God. But Jesus, who was God in the flesh, came and took all our punishment for, for our sins on the cross. He himself paid our debt and opened the way to eternal life for all who will humble themselves and acknowledge their need of him and accept his life-giving way. Cece put her trust in him. She confessed her sins, received his forgiveness, and became his forever. He filled her with his Holy Spirit, as he does for all of those who trust in him. It was the work of that Holy Spirit that caused Cece to grow in front of us. We watched her grow in faith and hope and love and joy and good works. I am certain that Cece wants you to her follow her example in this most of all. Trust not in yourselves, but in Jesus Christ, so you can join her in the life of faith and love and joy that she lived, and so that one day you can join her in heaven.